Welcome to Renewable Tech. Large-scale energy storage systems, such as Tesla Megapack, can play a much bigger role than most people think. They're not just for balancing the grid or absorbing solar power. In Kingman, Arizona, a new battery project has quietly gone live at Nucor, one of the largest steel producers in the United States. It's a 50-megawatt, 200-megawatt-hour Tesla Megapack installation, built with 58 Megapack units. The total investment, 51 million US dollars. This system is installed inside Nucor's own factory, directly connected to its internal power network, what the industry calls a behind-the-meter project. According to the developer Amoresco, this is the largest behind-the-meter battery project in Arizona and one of the top four of its kind in the entire country. The system is under a 20-year energy storage service agreement. A 25-megawatt AC solar plant will be added in next year to work alongside the batteries. So, why would a steel company spend $51 million on giant batteries? The answer has nothing to do with green slogans. It's about money and control. Nucor uses electric arc furnaces to melt scrap steel. These furnaces are like electric monsters. They pull massive amounts of power in seconds, then stop, then start again. Each time they start up, they create an enormous spike in demand. To handle those spikes, the grid must reserve extra capacity, which is costly. Utilities pass those costs back to customers as demand charges. For a factory like Nucor, those charges can reach millions of dollars a year. This is where the Megapack changes everything. It charges slowly during off-peak hours when electricity is cheap, then releases energy instantly when the furnace kicks in. It flattens the load curve. No huge spikes, no penalty fees, no grid instability. The result? A smoother, cheaper, and more predictable energy bill. When you add it up, Nucor's investment in Megapacks could pay for itself in a few years. After that, it's pure savings. They've essentially bought out their demand charges for the next decade or two. It's not just an energy solution. It's a financial hedge against volatile electricity costs. This single project tells a much bigger story about Tesla's energy business. While the spotlight is usually on cars, FSD, and Cybertruck, the Megapack division is turning into Tesla's most quietly profitable unit. Every factory, data center, cement plant, and chemical facility that struggles with peak power is a potential customer. The global industrial sector consumes over one-third of all electricity, and much of that demand is irregular, spiky, and expensive. Batteries can turn that chaos into something predictable. That's why behind-the-meter storage is set to explode in popularity. Projects like Nucor's also show how battery storage is evolving from hardware to service. Amoresco doesn't just install the batteries. It operates them under a long-term contract, providing energy storage as a service. That model allows industrial users to adopt batteries without becoming energy experts themselves. Tesla, meanwhile, sells the Megapack hardware and earns recurring software and monitoring revenue. It's a complete ecosystem, similar to how Apple built its hardware plus services empire. In the future, we'll see more of this model. Large batteries sitting next to factories, balancing their internal power. Solar panels on the same sites, feeding the batteries directly. Companies cutting their demand peaks and using stored power during outages or price spikes. This is the next step for energy storage. When every big consumer installs a battery behind the meter, the entire grid becomes more stable, efficient, and flexible. The Tesla Megapack is no longer just an accessory to renewables. It's becoming a core tool for industrial energy management. A quiet revolution happening one factory at a time. And that's why behind the meter batteries could soon be as common as transformers and substations. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.